Hello everyone, this is K Peter. Now, recently Nintendo announced three Pokemon games, and they're coming around late this year and next year as well. But out of those three games, two of them are going to be remakes of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and they're respectively called Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. The first Pokemon games that I've ever properly played were the fourth gen games, so Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I was really, really hyped to hear that they were remaking these games, so to keep my hype train keep on going, I decided to draw the main legendary Pokemon of the fourth gen games. So, for this video, I'm going to be drawing Dialga. So, without further ado, let's get into the time lapse portion of the video. All right, before we get into the time lapse portion of the video, here are the reference photos that I took reference for my Dialga drawing. With that out of the way, let's get into the sketching portion of the video. Now, when I first drew Dialga, I thought it was just some four-legged legendary Pokemon with some metallic bits attached to him. But surprisingly, he was a lot more sophisticated than that. Dialga had these blue strikes running all around his body, and the metallic bits that I mentioned were actually a lot more sophisticated than I thought, so getting the perspective on this guy was the real challenge. Also, a thing that I completely forgot about Dialga was that he had metal bits on his neck. I completely forgot about those while I was sketching Dialga, and I actually added them on when I was painting the guy, so if you don't see the metal plates on his neck in the sketching portion, you'll eventually see them in the painting portion of the video. I also wanted to portray Dialga in a somewhat neutral yet active pose, so I wanted to kind of portray Dialga as if it were rearing up on his rear legs and swaying his front legs, but in the end, I guess kind of opted to go with one leg raised and the three others firmly on the ground. I also tilted his head. I really wanted to draw Dialga in a diagonal position, so that was how I did the sketching portion of the video. After the sketch, I went over it with line art and uh, I wanted to make it as clean as possible, so I did put a lot of time and effort into the line art. With the line art finished, it was now time for me to paint the Dialga. Now, like I mentioned in all of my previous videos, I personally think that painting is the most fun process of drawing, and this Dialga drawing that I did was no exception. Dialga has two main colors, blue and grey. First, I colored Dialga in a dark bluish color, and after I did the bluish colors, I went over Dialga with the greyish metallic bits. After the greyish metallic bits, uh, Dialga also seems to have these light bluish streaks running all around his body, so that's what I did next. The light bluish areas seem to be glowing, so I try to do my best to make them look as if they were glowing. After I colored Dialga, I then went over the background, and since the 4th gen legendary Pokemon have to do with time and space, I wanted to have a space aesthetic background. So that's what I did. I made a few star patterns and colored the background in a very very dark purple, and that was that. So without further ado, here is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video of me going over the process of me drawing Dialga. It really means the world if you like and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos or more videos of me drawing Pokemon, leave down in the comments below and suggest me whatever to draw. I'll choose some ideas that I find interesting and I might draw them in a future video. But anyways, once again, I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching all the way until the end, and I'll see you guys in the future. Take care.